all right so today what i want to get into is mastering the eq in fl studio mobile now there are many ways that we're going to dive into eq today for different reasons so why don't we just kind of just get it going so let's just say we're almost done this one and we're kind of ready to move on let's check this one out okay so let's go to the master first you'll notice let's check the levels and we're at a decent level right now minus five db is pretty good we're good so one of the ways that might be more unconventional is to start with the mid side now it's not exactly eq but it's still dealing with frequency ranges so that's one thing i always check as you see i've already got it spread out so the higher width is spread more to the left and the right and and the bass is still punching through in the middle but there's a, there are a couple of things that are glaring to me so there are a lot of things that are glaring to me but let's just try to approach one of them at a time um, each at one at a time and see if we can improve the mix okay so let's start with the hi-hat okay so this hi-hat is fairly chunky not so bad but as you see i already moved the mid to the side so that it doesn't cut through so much in the mono mix but still what we're going to do is we're going to start with a parametric eq and we're just going to use a low shelf and we're just going to cut a lot of that out let's go let's listen to that so watch this oh sorry i'm sorry <clears throat> and i think i see i'm already on one i've gone too far no here we go there we go see i could cut this hi-hat out so much but i don't want to lose too much of the richness of the crash symbol so i think about there's good enough I still want some of the body, right? And I'm not even using a visualizer to see. I still want some of the body. So let's go like that. Okay, here we go. Let's see what else is kind of standing out a bit too much. Okay, this pink one here. No. This one here. Okay, as you see, I've got the stereo width in the low end spread out and the high spread out as well because I don't want it to cut too much down the middle. But as you see with the EQ, I pulled down some critical areas, especially after zooming in and taking a look. Now we've got a lot of low end here. Do we really need bass in this one? I don't really think so, guys. So let's just find that peak. It's right there. It's about 500 hertz maybe 450 450 somewhere around there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually open up another eq and i'm going to drop the graphic eq this time as you see we've got these ranges uh this one's got 523 hertz i want somewhere perhaps in between these two so let's go with this i'm going to push it up just to show you how strong this is and we can even look at the output level minus 16 decibels right here and let me push it up even a little bit more and see how loud it gets maybe not super loud yeah there you go minus 14 minus 13 so we want to drop this down we're gonna drop and we're gonna roll off more of the bit of the low end look how that disappeared let's zoom in so you can see what i'm referring to watch this watch how this watch how this rolls off see that rumble down there let's roll off that rumble because we really don't need it and let's drop down some of that right there and maybe even one of the higher yeah let's cut that out just a bit just a bit you know i don't want to touch too much i don't want to um treat it like it's it's hurting so much so let's see what we've got here okay so so far we've used the parametric eq on the hi-hat to get it to be a little less chunky we use what is this one it's called the synth quaker oscillation okay and th this one's probably got some really low bass in it yeah yeah definitely so let's see what else we can work on let's go back to this i want to work with this one it's a little whiny but as you see i spread it out because i i didn't want so much of that high pitch cutting through the main part of the mix and as you see we already started touching it up here so let's see what i can do we'll listen to it as it comes back on the loop let's go back here and zoom out and see what we've got okay so it's coming up it's coming up very quickly so let's let's listen to that maybe eight bars i may roll off a bit as well i may roll off a bit so let me insert this right here let's do we could also do filters guys right that's another thing we can do a filter that definitely works with eq so let's go 
let's just look at some some defaults okay let's let's just listen for now see what we've got okay so this one here this this sound I like this cloud sound I like this that's cool let's see if it's got any space on it no see so I'm gonna drop a spacer on it why why don't we just do that right now just to get a little bit of a little extra room but let's get back here before we miss it here we go so we're going to we're gonna see if we can find the right frequency range here let's solo I don't want so much of the high yet okay let's do the 24 decibels per octave this year let's see let's try very sharp with 96 we can add some resonance if we want and cut the frequency down a bit more okay so there you go i softened it a bit made it a little more lo-fi but now it doesn't cut through the mix as much so i actually may want to get into some harmonics so i'm just going to drop that in it's not it's not so much the eq side of things but at the same time it is a bunch of different frequencies and kind of particles right so i'm going to make this super super light okay super light i don't even want to listen and, and wait i'm just going to put it just a touch because i know it's going to affect it even a little bit okay yeah and let's let's see if we can let's see if we can um spread it out a bit and uh get it looking good get it sounding good all right guys that should be it for now i appreciate your time thank you until next time right uh i hope you like this one take it easy